saying thank you so much. Because I am so happy that you all are with us tonight on the Talk of Life Talk Show with Alma. And I guess that's me. I'm up here by myself. I don't know where Kimberly is. Where is Kimberly? Kimberly, where are you? Oh, there's Kimberly. All right. There's Kimberly. I'm so happy. I'm not up here by myself anymore. This is Kimberly, our other co-host that just got off the jet too, I think. Isn't she pretty? Kimberly is in the house. She's in the house. She's in the house. Ooh. Ooh. That's Kimberly. Kimberly, I'm so happy to see you. How are you? How was your trip here? It was wonderful. Was it wonderful? Did you get jet lag? Yes, we're at the Millionaire Airport. It was really nice. Oh, it was? Oh, you made it to the Millionaire Airport? Yes, yes, Oh, my God. You all must come (laughs) and be a part and fly on the jet (laughs) at our Millionaire what? Airport. Yes. See, I told you we are growing. (laughs) But I know you're wondering why this thing is empty. Kimberly, why is this seat empty? We have another special guest. Do we? Oh I my God! We have a special show guest yet. tonight. <laughs> I get so happy when we have special guests, Kimberly. Yes. do Kimberly look beautiful? Oh my God! Look at that lipstick. That is so beautiful. <laughs> Keith, I know you love kissing on those beautiful lips. Now Keith, with my lipstick on. Oh. Not, not with my $5 lipstick on. It's got to last. It's oh, I'm sorry, last. Keith. You don't get to kiss the $5 lipstick. <laughs> By the way, Keith is her husband. So I know some of y'all are trying to figure out who is Keith. That's her husband. <laughs> Okay, but tonight we do have a special guest tonight yes, that's going do. to be a part of us. And, uh-oh, do you hear the jet? It's landing. It's landing. Oh, my God, do you hear the jet? Uh, Kimberly, com- did you hear it? They just rolled out the red carpet. They did? Yes. Oh, gosh, for our she's guests. She's coming in. Oh, my God, they in. just put out the red carpet. So tonight, our guest is coming in in a few minutes. What's her name, Kimberly? Joseph. You know I got eight no, you don't, Jose. I don't. don't. I don't. Jose okay. Abel. All right. Kimberly said I don't have ARP, <laughs> so then I know who the guest is. So at this time, we want you all to meet. Did our Linda guests. say hi? Linda? Who is Linda? You know I got ARP. Linda. Oh, Lady Linda, Linda, our co host. Come on, Linda. Linda, where is Linda? Throw your, throw your deuces up there. Just throw your deuces to the camera. Deuces. Hi, <laughs> Linda is going to go and get our guest that's flying in. That's the reason why she's not going to be on the show tonight, okay? Did you see how fast she walked past? Oh, yeah, she, she's going to get she's the red so carpet funny. and everything, okay? <laughs> all right, we're ready to introduce because we know you all are nosy and want to know who like, our hurry guest up, is tonight. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, okay. Kimberly says hurry up. Okay, so tonight we have on our show a beautiful woman. Yes. She is so beautiful and anointed that the camera is going to keep on running because <laughs> they don't want to miss this beautiful woman of God. So tonight I would like to introduce you to the one and only Lady J. Lady J. Here come Lady J. Woo! Go girl. You go girl. Isn't she beautiful? Beautiful. Lady J. And introducing her single. She yes. is a recording artist, and yes. this one is called God. Our God go. is greatly to be praised. Thank you, Lady J. Did you get jet lagged too? <laughs> it's tough, isn't it? I know it is, girl, especially our jet. Our millionaire jet is really tough riding on our. It might be hard to fit in, too. <laughs> but anyway, tonight we're so blessed to have Lady J. And Kimberly is going to share how she met Lady J. Yes, I was at Pray Her's event with Tam. And of course, y'all remember she was on our show a few weeks ago. Yes. And she was. Who was the, that? Who was that? Who? Tam. Pray Tam, hers. Tammy. 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 What's Tammy her name? Tamara Dean. You know her too? I do. Oh my very God. Well. She Sister. knows Tammy. All right. Dean, very well. She is so sweet. Very well. Yes. They know each other very well. 
And I had arrived late, of course. I passed the facility, the uh, country club. I, I wasn't even listening to MapQuest because in my mind, I knew I knew where it was, right? <laughs> you wait a minute, Kimberly. You mean you passed up the place. I kept right on going. I was like, Long why am I down here? AARP don't need to be driving. <laughs> <laughs> I did. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Finally got there. And I was supposed to be there right on time. But nevertheless, I came in and there were some people already having breakfast in the front of the country club. And before I could get both feet into the door, they said, oh, you belong down there where the music is. It's really <laughs> nice. It's really nice. Oh, y'all look so nice. So, That's and as beautiful. I walked in, you were singing. Somewhere in there you were singing. Oh, yes. wow. And it was so beautiful. And I was like, oh, man. Because I knew I had to leave early because I had another event. I was like, I'm hoping I get to talk to her before I leave, uh -huh. just invite her, you know. And just so happy she just strolled around. And she was right by my table. Like, <laughs> I know you don't know me. But we've been on the Talk Life Talk Show. That quick, I, host, I co host the Talk Life Talk Show with Em. We've been on the show. And here it is. Snap, 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 this, snap, this, you know. You was talking that fast. I, I was trying to well, get out fast. She got it in. She got I was it trying in to get quick, it in. Huh? She got it uh -huh. in. Because we had yes. a quick break. I think oh, they wanted okay. us to get something yes. to eat real quick. And uh, I knew I had to leave at 12. And I was trying to stay because the food was excellent. That pasta. Yes, it was. <laughs> I do you remember that pasta? Ooh, Tammy <laughs> Dean, Tammy Dean, Tammy Dean. <laughs> mm. It was wonderful. And I was so glad she just casually strolled by. And I was like, gosh, she's right here. So that's how it all happened. <laughs> Amen. Mm. And when I see her, I see yeah. that she was a very beautiful woman. Yes, oh. she is. And she was just so bright and vibrant. And when she looked at me, our eyes connected. And I knew she wanted to say something. Say something. Oh, you're that's so good. Yeah. That eye contact. That's right. I knew she wanted to say something to me. So I made my way over oh, toward her way. And, uh, yes. That's and I'm glad I did. Is. Me too. Amen. This is so awesome. <laughs> this is so awesome. It's about to make me cry. But before I cry, we got to do our scripture walk. Oh, Kimberly. Because we want everybody to know we have to finish what we start. And we're going to come back and finish that. But tonight, our scripture walk is going to be finish what you start, Kimberly. You know that. I have to tell her this all the time. That's an AARP. Go, girl. Do it, girl. <laughs> That's our scripture walk, our scripture dance. Get it, girl. That's our scripture. Kim, you both to show the sign. Thank you. <laughs> we have so much fun on this show, but we have to have Jesus, I tell you. That's our scripture walk. Finish what you start. Philippians 1 and 6. That's just our short version. So Kim can get her scripture walk in. Get my steps in. That's her steps in. We got a step for Jesus up in here. All right. Thank you, Kim. I love her scripture walk. I tell you, that is so much fun. Uh, but anyway, Lady J. Yes. yes. Tell us your name. I call you Lady J. Well, um, I'm known to a lot by Lady J. See, I told oh you. Oh, my God. I told you, you can't believe wow. uh, But my name, my birth name is Josette. 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 Yes. Did you hear how she said it, Kim? Josette. Josette. <laughs> Just I saying. love it. Yeah. And you know, you get tired of people messing it up. So uh, they yes. mess minds up all the time. Lady J. Only like a mess up on a chick. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, that might not even work <laughs> now. Because they get so strict with these names on the check. So I have to make sure they say it right. Okay. Yes. So, okay. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I'm a wife. Yes. Wife. My husband and I just celebrated our 22nd year anniversary. Oh, oh happy anniversary yes, to you. Congratulations. He kept you for 22 years. Yes. And he actually <laughs> took me on a private jet. Oh, she been on a private jet. <laughs> for your 22nd anniversary? Yes. Oh, oh my gosh, where did you fly? Kimberly, we just went to San Antonio. There ain't no jazz. That's yeah. water <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yes, what? yes, indeed. But we mm -hmm. went to San Antonio for a two-day trip, and then we came on back. So was anybody else on that private jet? Was just you and him? It was me, him, the pilot, the co-pilot, and then there was another gentleman. But it was just three of us. Kim, we got to go on private jet. Did you fly to the Millionaire in Addison? No, <laughs> it was it was at uh, Love Field. Love Field. Oh, that is awesome. Nice. Did y'all go? Where'd you go? To San Antonio. What y'all do when you got? I like, love San Antonio. Well, you know, we went on the river walk and. Oh. Oh, that's so nice. And, you know, we just the river walk is awesome. enjoying each yeah. other. You know, that's beautiful. He's yeah. a hero, husband. He is a hero. Yes. He's I a hero, husband. We met in church. 
<laughs> so you hey, it's still some church going in the church. Go ahead, yes, girl. Yes, we made So y'all was going to church together? Well, you know, yes, but I did not know we was going to the same church. I, I was convinced that my husband was not at that church. Really? Wow. It wasn't really a big church, but uh -huh. I was just convinced that my husband wasn't there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I didn't see him. <laughs> It wasn't That's meant good, for you to see him. Exactly. It wasn't I, I meant for you see to him. see him. I did not Jay. see him for years. We were both <laughs> going to the same church for years, and I didn't see him. And he didn't see me. Really? Wow. Until the appointed time. time. Yeah. So was this in Texas? No, this was in Connecticut. Not Connecticut. Oh my yes, God. Was it during the winter or the summer? That we met. Uh huh. It was. It was. It's always cold up there, but it was in the. Because I was wondering if you had that coat over your head and he didn't see you. No. <laughs> well, actually, I was on the praise team. Uh huh. Um, sang on the praise team and in the choir for years. And little did I know, he mm -hmm. was an usher back then. So he, he was, never did usher you in here. No. Oh wow! No, I this don't. is exciting. Yeah. And 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 I can remember God telling me. Uh -huh. I'm going to bless you with your mate. Wow. And I specifically wow. told God, no. <laughs> I said, no, I'm good. Me and you, I'm good. Uh -huh. I specifically told God, no. And he said it again. And I was like, you know what? Really, I, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> when he said it a third time, wow. I knew, you knew that man. I needed to go ahead on and accept that. Wow. So I began to plan a wedding. Wow. I hadn't met him. I didn't know who he was, <laughs> but I operated action. on faith. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I started planning a wedding. I remember telling my um, pastors at the time, their son, because we worked together, that I was getting married. And he said, <laughs> and he said to who? I was like, I don't know. No. <laughs> God told me I was getting married. married. Um, very shortly after that, I, I was introduced to my husband. Uh, but not before I was, I can remember being up on the praise team and I glanced at that back door and I was like, okay, I've never seen him before, but let me not keep looking. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm up here trying to lead worship. Let me not keep and looking. Your eyes kept looking at the door. Um, huh? Yes. And then someone <laughs> that I knew introduced us um, and it was a wrap from there. Wow. And months later, like four months later, uh -huh. we were married. Get out of here. Wow. We was wow. married. The praise and when team I, and urge. And, yes. <laughs> and when I told That's my awesome. when I told my pastor's son uh -huh. that I was getting married, they was like, to who? And I told them to who? And they couldn't believe it. They was like, well, I'm not gonna mess with you anymore because when God tells you something, it comes to pass. Wow. So yeah, and then one of the pre persons that I work with uh -huh. said, Well, does he know? Does he know you get married? Mary. I was like, he asked me. <laughs> <laughs> of course he know. He asked me. So, mm -hmm. you know, we got married and it's been wonderful. 22 years. It's Any children? Wonderful. We have three children collectively. Okay. Um, you know, uh, my oldest is 31. Mm -hmm. My middle is, he's going to be 28. Um, and then my baby girl who is 20. And they're all Wait a minute, how can you have a 31 year old when you look 31? You look amazing. Well, praise him. <laughs> I know you look amazing. You do. Amen. Really? Yes. Oh my God. You look that amazing. is awesome. So um yeah, my oldest is in California mm -hmm. and um my middle son lives in North Dallas and my daughter is away at college. Wow, what college? Um she goes to um Southwestern Assemblies of God. It's called Sagu in uh Waxahachie. Oh really? Okay, yeah. okay, all right. Yeah, not too far from home. I see. Yeah, not I too to... far from home. Got to watch the daughter. That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna back up because Emmanuel and I were talking about. I asked him what type of wife did he want. So now I wait, know. But wait, wait, wait. Who are you talking to? The producer. Who's, who's the producer? Emmanuel. That's my son. Yeah. What you ask him? What type? What Steve type Harvey said we should ask people what type. Uh huh. A lot of times we just want someone based upon how they look. And I was asking him what type of woman that he wants. Ooh, so it's so I interesting. This. What did he say, girl? That, um, <laughs> that you come on and mm -hmm. you're talking about meeting your husband and uh -huh. hearing God. So I want to say to the producer, keep an eye on the urshers at church. <laughs> <laughs> or, either, or either the praise director the praise at the church, team. too. When we get one. Yes. 
that is out cute. of the praise team. But that's really neat because that's something a lot of people are yeah. inquiring about meeting, you know, someone, especially as Christians, because you're yes. abstaining, you're holding from sex and Absolutely. like, God, yes. when am I going to meet this Absolutely. person? How, when, uh-huh. when, what, how? So is there something you could say to the women who are waiting for, I don't know if he's Mr. Right or Mr. Appointed or <laughs> Mr. Christian. Mr. Believer, <laughs> I have a witness over there. She's waiting. She's waiting. <laughs> you a lady in waiting. Oh. oh, you oh, waiting. Wait yeah. on her. Wait and that's the, that's the important thing mm-hmm. is to wait on God. God right. knows exactly what we need. Me. Thank you. Um, and He is a God who is about timing. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know when it's destined, when He has destiny and purpose. And I knew my husband and I were getting together for purpose. That there was mm-hmm. a purpose. Not only that He looked good, bless God, but that <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> Amen. He was all that I asked for and more. Mm-hmm. And there was destiny and purpose for uh, God um, allowing that meeting to happen. Um, there were other perspectives. There were other people right. who were, you know. Knocking at the door. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, no. It was, you didn't it was, open that door. I did not. <laughs> so your husband, when what did he say when he knew? Did he uh, say how he knew you were Well, it was one? something because... Uh, my my church mother, uh, I love her very dearly. Um, she, we, he took me. We was out on a picnic, very very um, shortly after dating. Yeah, and uh, it was a church picnic, so everybody, oh. was there. <laughs> everybody was there. Oh man, everybody, everybody was there. Everybody oh, God, yes. Was there. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, she leaned in and she said to him, she said. Uh, <clears throat> I want to know what your intentions are for my daughter. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. The church mother. My, she was my, she was my church mother. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, she, she said, said my church mother. She, she was, she was playing. Okay. And uh, she leaned in and said, I want to know your intentions. What are they for my daughter? Ooh. And he, you know, positioned himself. <laughs> and I was waiting and she was waiting. <laughs> she was still leaning in. <laughs> And, uh, you wanted to know too. Yeah, yes, I wanted to know <laughs> what is your intentions for me. But this was the first thing I, and the first time I ever uh-huh. heard him say, "My intentions are to marry her." Blew my mind. Do you hear me? Because I ain't never heard that before. Wow. I have never heard it. Wow. So what did you do when he said that? You didn't fall out the chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was laying on the blanket because uh-huh. we was in a park. Uh-huh. But uh, I was just totally thrown back. I really was. Because he didn't ask you at that time. He has not. He did not ask me at that time. And, uh, you know, a small time later, he, um, you know, he had, he had previously met my mom and my family and things of that nature. And, uh, one night he, um, said he wanted to take me out on a date. It ended up being a, uh, a dinner cruise. Wow. And, um, He proposed in front of the whole boat. Oh, that's so precious. Are you serious? Yeah. There was a band that was there, and he set it up with them before (laughs) me knowing. Wow. And um, a a boat full of strangers, and it touched people (laughs) so to the degree that, um, you know, they were having some retirement party, Mm -hmm. and he had set it up where he like won a door prize. And so they said, well, you know, we're going to call up the door prize winner and his name is Frank. And I was like, okay, yeah, okay. I was a little bit suspicious, but I was like, okay, all right. He grabbed the mic and he walked over to me and he began to tell me um, that I was a blessing sent from God Mm -hmm. and that um, he wanted to know if I would be his wife. Of course, um, I lost it. I completely cried in front of everybody. (laughs) But I said yes. And um, we got up and we we actually danced to Misty. Oh, Yes, um, to Misty. And um, I could hear people saying, oh, she's crying. And then little did I know they were because they were at a retirement party. Uh People were snapping pictures. So we have that captured in our marriage book where the engagement because they got our address and then they sent the picture yeah it was beautiful and they were there were some of them crying because they were like (laughs) oh my god you know how women are yeah we cry oh my goodness so it was beautiful it was a beautiful thing um and we have been kicking it 
That's strong awesome. ever since. So when he saw years. you singing. Did he know then or did he say Okay, he so knew? see, there is a story behind both sides because I had the encounter with God when he told me he was going to bless me with a mate. And then I saw him at the back of the church. Um, and then he told me he had a dream. Oh, he said he saw me um, in, in service. And then I guess that night or whatever, he had a dream. But it wasn't before uh, the, the co-pastor of the church had prophesied to him and said that God was going to bless him with a mate. Wow. And when he went home and had a dream, he said he had a dream that um, he walked past his kitchen and I was standing in his kitchen. Oh, wow. No, no words were spoken. And as a matter of fact, after I seen him, I had a dream. Oh, wow. I had a dream wow. that I was in a lobby full of all the single women in our church. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, mm. he walked over to me mm -hmm. and handed me this piece of paper. And with all the single women in our church, handed me this piece of paper. I opened it up. I saw that it was his number. Ooh. And so I reached over to the other girl sitting next to me. I wrote down and asked for a pen and paper, wrote down my number in a Ooh. dream and gave it to him. Now, when I woke up, I heard the Holy Ghost say, you have been chosen amongst many. Wow. And then we met. <coughs> We married. Oh. I'm I'm telling you, it's a God thing. That is beautiful. He strategically will put you with who you're who supposed, supposed to, to be, be with. with. Yes. That's beautiful. Don't settle. Don't don't settle because there's a say lot that. of That's right. a lot of jokers out there who who be trying to say God Thank told you. me you supposed Ooh, to be the one. That. Let that joker go <laughs> and tell him, say, you go tell God to tell me. That's right. I like that. That's good. That Don't take good. him for his word because God speaks to you both. <clears throat> yes, yes. God speaks to you both. I like that. So, That's yes. so nice. That is oh my awesome. gosh. So how did y'all end up in Texas? If you, you met in Connecticut yes. and you end up in Texas. God. Yes. Yes. Um, God told us to go. Wow. And it was a real Abrahamic experience. I was just going to say We that. left everything. <laughs> oh, we left a did. house, uh -huh. well-paying job, everything. And just moved to Texas. And moved. Did you know anyone down there? I, at the time, I had an auntie, uh -huh. but um, she has then left. But we were, like, real close. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. But um, at the time, I had an auntie. But other than that, I knew no one. So y'all came no by one. faith. We did. did we he did. he didn't know anyone either? No. As a matter of fact, he stayed um, in he was working in New wow. York at the time. So he was, um, he stayed there and for like six months he was traveling back and forth to be with us and go back to work, be with us and go back to work. Oh my God. So, yeah. So how long have you been singing? Oh, since I was two. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes, since I was two, I would have been, oh, it's been a journey. Um, we started off with my family, you know, um, we were known as the Relifords. Well, you know, not the Jackson Five. Well, they there was a lot of people that considered us <laughs> like the Jackson <laughs> Five. Oh, yeah. wow. Um, and I didn't know that till I was older. You know, we're running into people that we used to sing at their church, and, and mm -hmm. they would say, I remember when y'all was coming to our church, and I was like, oh, my God, they're here. Oh, my God, they're here. And I was like, <laughs> really? Oh, my gosh, how many in the family? Um, well, it's th that it were was, singing. It was three of us. Wow. My older sister, my younger sister, and me. Oh, and, so it was three girls. Yes, three oh. girls. And my father played the organ or the keys. Oh, and my that's, and my that's brother so played cool. the drums. Who played the drums? My brother. Oh, your brother, so. Yeah, so we were known as the Relifords. And uh, we traveled. We traveled from church to church to wow. church to church. Got to sing uh, at a lot of different places. That is awesome. Um, and, you know, um, life took over and we kind of started doing our own thing. Uh -huh. And I remember when I knew it was time for me to record. Okay. Oh. So I released my album. Um, this is the one here, My, my Song, Song of Worship. Worship. Okay. Yep, in 2007. Beautiful. Yes, we played one of the songs. Yes. One of the singles. In 2007, I released that um, via a two-day concert event. 
um, where, you know, I did the same concert two days in a row and uh, people came and supported from all over, not all over, not just uh, Connecticut, but all a lot of different states. They came in and supported that. So, um, you know, there is another one in me, <laughs> another album in me. That's good. Uh, oh, wow. I'm just waiting on the release to record. Um, but uh, from That's that point cool. on, uh, ministry just took off for me. I began to minister, um, doing a lot of conferences, praise and worship conferences, um, praise and worship seminars, um, you know, just uh, traveling, ministering in different places, doing concerts with my music and things of that nature. And it's been a blessing. Um, wow. More recently with our the bishop that me and my husband sent under, I've been able to travel the world. That's good. Uh, with uh, Keith Butler Ministries. He's out in um, Southfield, Michigan. And- um, Girl, you travel with Keith Butler. I have traveled with Keith Butler. You sure now. I have. <laughs> and um, we've, I've been to um, Poland twice. Ooh, good. Bulgaria, mm -hmm. um, Athens, Greece. And um, there's another place I've been. Uh, I'll think about it later. But All right. <laughs> I've been, but you, I've right, been, when you was out there, you were saying Christians. Christian songs? Oh, yeah. And they have Christians over in all these other countries? They do. That's so exciting. I love they to do. Hear that. And when I tell you these I people are extremely mm -hmm. thirsty for yes. the word of God, yes. I've seen I've That's seen awesome. some things that just just literally like blew my mind. Right. And they love gospel music. music that's good they love that our music so i was like okay yeah. and you know my bishop would look at me and tell me don't hold back nothing and i got that's you right sir. That's i got right. you because they want that um you know that is but awesome they're hungry for the world yeah. overseas more much more mm -hmm. than what we see here yeah, in right America. Cause they walk to they yeah. walk miles and miles yeah. to hear. When that. I that went is to awesome. when i went to uh poland mm -hmm. uh for the first time um, it was a room probably as big as this room that we're in, but it was completely packed and the doors were open and wow. there were people sitting outside wow. on cars just wow. to hear the word. And when it was time for our break, none of them left to eat. They just they stayed just, there until oh. we got back so they can hear the word again. As Bishop preaching. Yes. Yeah. He's like that. Oh, he yeah. is. Wow. It was he incredible. Is, he is. Really yeah, awesome. he graduated from Raymond before yes. I did. Yes, yes, he, he's, he's awesome. He's, he's awesome. awesome. That's my bishop. Yes, it yes, he is. Yes. Awesome. Powerful yes, black man. Is. Yes, he is. I love Bishop Butler. Yes, he is that awesome. Is good. That is good. So it says that you're a counselor too. Mm -hmm. I um, got uh, my certification with um, the Therapon Institute. Okay. Uh, where they That's teach good. belief therapy. Oh. So it's, you know, I'm a belief therapist where, we, and I'm certified with the state of Texas. So mm -hmm. if there's any crisis that may go on that I could go and just, you know, show my credentials and be able to help, you know, minister to these people who are hurting. You know, oh. um, and I do a lot of counseling. Me and my husband, I think our niche is, of course, marriage counseling. Yeah. Um, people want they need help. That. People yes, they need do. help. Yes, they and do. Um, we've we've counseled a lot of people, mm. a lot of people. That is Consequently, good. we're dealing with a lot of people who um, mm. who need help, but are not married. We're dealing with a lot of that. People live together nowadays. Yeah, they, they they don't commit. They they live together. Why do um, you think that they do that now? Why do you think they do not want to commit? And they are in the church, or are they Christians, or these are just out in the world. Um, some some of them are in some the are church, in the church, right? and some are not in the church. And um, <clears throat> there is a lot of people out there that do not want to commit. They feel like they have to test it and try it Ooh. out first before they actually commit. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they join everything together. They join mm -hmm. finances, they join family, they start having each other's children. And, mm -hmm. and then when it's not right, they wanna uh, seek counseling or tear it apart. Right. Um, so God has given a strategy on how to deal with um, certain people to um, say to them the importance of marriage. Right. 
um, uh, the God's version of marriage. Yeah. You know, anybody mm-hmm. who comes to us, mm-hmm. any anybody who comes to us, know who we are, so they know they're going to get Bible. That's right. Um, you know, and we teach them God's way of marriage. But um, you know, how do you say to somebody who's been together sometimes fifteen years and not married, but yet having problems that you need to get married? Mm-hmm. So God has That's given good. us strategy on mm-hmm. how to. Um, not say you need to move out and you need to move out, right, but how right. to like help that. them um, strip away and tear down their crusty foundation, mm-hmm. their weak That's foundation good. to well, tear it down and, 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 and try to help them That's build good. a solid foundation That's with that. God at the center yes. so that yes. he can be glorified. And with that, we're like, y'all need to get back. Mm-hmm. So, and that's yeah. Good. Now, doing that, how many of you think actually got married through after y'all finished? Well, you know, I'm real tough. So I go in. <laughs> I immediately go in. And uh, yeah, I'm the tough one. I really am. I hear you. And um, I go in and tell them my job is to break you up. That's good. That's good. Well, all right. That's my that job. That is really good. Because if you can withstand the course of Thank this you. counseling session. There you go. Uh, and understand everything you need to know mm-hmm. about God, him, her, and you. and you can come out on top, then we'll marry you. Oh, I love okay? it. Uh-huh. But, but if this is our recommendation that you two should not be together, we're going to let you know. That's good. That's good. If we say we cannot sanction this mm-hmm. and, and join you two together, mm-hmm. we don't do it. That's good. We don't do it. That is good. Even if you go through the course and our suggestion to you is that y'all don't need to get married because y'all slinging spit and cussing and, 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 you know, yeah. and just being mean to each other, then, and you, and you're not working with us to work with you. Thank you. Then like our that. suggestion is you do not get married. That's right. So does it take you a certain length of time to, to it's, say, you all are not going to work? It depends on the couple. Okay. It really depends on the couple. Um, the couple, you know, it varies where, you know, immediately we're like, okay, y'all, y'all, this is fixable y'all issues because when they come to us, they come with us with issues and they don't know how to fix it. Okay. Well, because your foundation isn't right. That's right. You know, so that's why you're here. Mm -hmm. That's why you're here. So it depends on the couple and what they need and the issues that they're dealing with. That's good. So I know that you pastor. Yes. Uh, What's the name of your church? Overcomers World Ministries in Arlington. So do would a couple have to be uh, members? No. To get this? No. Um, But um, counseling to our members is free. Gotcha. Counseling to your members as well. Free. Free. Okay, but then outside, no. Right. I, I agree with you. That's a lot of work to yes. counsel people. Yes. That's good. Because I know so. you're certified with the state. Mm-hmm. So that's good. Um, I know you're talking about um, a session. Is this mm-hmm. a six week course, an eight week course? or Again, it depends on the couple. Mm-hmm. And we don't try to, um, you know, we try to get to the point. Okay, quick. We try to get to the point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah, is awesome. We can that's pretty, good. We, we can pretty this. much tell. You know, when when somebody is willing to work with us and we, there's a lot of different personalities Ooh, yes. in in that a lot of different things that they're dealing with. And some people make it through. Some people start off real rocky and some people, you know, make it through. And then some people start off real rocky and realize that, OK, this is not going to work. Well, we can tell you that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we can tell you that. Yeah, um, right. So but and then they don't make it. So what do they do then? Do they just they walk? they they walk away? And some people, you know, we've had people say, "Well, can you now come and counsel us on how to co-parent separately? How to do this breakup? Mm-hmm. Because everything is tied together." Wow. wow. You know, oh, wow. um, so we've had that as well. You know, trying to get people to co-parent together and to do it the right way, so that the kids are not damaged. Yeah. And I've had to counsel children because of the yes. parents not doing things the right way. Right. To so keep what, them from messing up. What is yeah. the name of your counseling? Um, Overcomers. Oh, it's through the name the church. of the church. Oh, it's, it's through the church, but like I said, members free yeah. so if someone want, if someone is watching and they wanted your services they just come to overcomers yes yes okay. they can they can reach out to us online 
actually they can reach out to us online there is a number you can call um yep and i'm gonna have it in a minute <laughs> that's okay. it yeah we'll put it no, on the we'll 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 show so you all can contact her if you need that and want that and that's you want even help more power. yeah that's, that's good. even that's more power. now um i was gonna ask you about your husband y'all counsel together normally or you take the wives separately women separately there are times we take husband uh, or or boyfriend and girlfriend, girlfriend yeah okay mm -hmm. and split the husband and wife is split and then we come together and and counsel together because i think that's important they need to see our dynamic you know the way we mm -hmm. operate and that's the way good. we you know move and, and shift and we work well together that's good um you know we work well together. We bounce off of each other very well. That's mm -hmm. good. Very well. Good. That is I like that. so yeah. good. That's, That's even awesome. more powerful. See, there, all yeah. this stuff was hidden in her. So many people need that counseling. That's right. And counseling some people think vital. that they don't need counseling, mm -hmm. but they do need counseling Absolutely. sometime to understand each other. You Absolutely. Know? That's good. Understand That's the good. purpose of why God, the union. Because yes. mm -hmm. marriage, I keep telling people, marriage is easy. Come on now. It's the people. Come on now. Yes, God said, take right. my yoke of you. Come my on. Is he? he said, what I ask you to do is easy. Is you not wanting to change who you are That's to adapt it. That's it. to what I said? We resist him. Yes. We resist him. Yes. So it looks like it's hard and it's unbearable. But well, no. we make it hard. Like you mm -hmm. said, it's the we people. We make it hard. It's the people. It ain't it marriage. It's not what God created. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. He's not um, crazy. A lot of times it's, it's, it's just selfishness. Yes. 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 It's not, you know, and, and you're not approaching it as servitude. Mm -hmm. you're, yes. you're not Good. approaching it as, you know, I'm here to serve or I'm here to mm -hmm. give up myself. When you say, I do, that's one. You become one. Right. And, and mm -hmm. so it is no, uh, I got to have it this way. Is it 50 50? No, it's 100 and 100. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. It is I not 50-50. It. it is 100. Well, let me ask you this question. What about a couple? The the person is already a minister and he goes and marry uh, a woman and she didn't want to follow him, but she knew he was a minister, mm -hmm. okay, at the time. Mm -hmm. But now that they're married, it's like it's a different story. So what advice could you give them for as him trying to go this way and she trying to go that way. Well, my advice to them would be, first of all, you know, um, you knew what you was getting into. Thank you. Yes. I agree. Number one, you knew what That's you was getting right. into. Okay. Um, and so there is a way though mm -hmm. for you to go ahead and be who God called you to be not just you not wanting to do it but you have to go into it as what does God want oh. for this union what does he yes. want for me in this union mm -hmm. and there is a way to compromise to yes. work together in the spirit of unity where you can feel fulfilled um, doing over here and nothing is lacking over there as mm -hmm. well but you've got to be willing to do the work a lot of people Ooh, are not yes. willing to, to work. Do the work there you a go a lot yes. of people are not willing That's to it. work it's just you know i i want it this way and i want it that way and they're not willing to come together and that's do the good work. yeah that's good. you have to because want to like you work. said you knew that this person was a minister when you was dating and now that you're married they're, I mean, do they have to lose their identity just because they're marrying a minister or a pastor? Absolutely not. God told me I was going to marry a, a, a He told pastor. me the same thing, too. He, he told me that. Yes. And when I married my husband, he wasn't. He was a deacon. <laughs> my <laughs> husband wasn't either. So, he was a deacon. So I was like, okay, well, yes. you know, okay, I know I hear from God. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he done told me this and showed me that and showed me mm -hmm. this. But this is not a pastor. That's right. Um, but he, I knew. I was going to marry a pastor. Right. Little did I know that that was my husband calling, and he he knew there that that was his calling. <clears throat> so yeah, yeah. But you didn't lose your identity, right? No, he supports me. Good. Um, you know, it, it. You know, a lot of people ask my husband because he has this real deep voice, and they Is ask. Is it like him, one of Barry White's voice? Yes, absolutely. Okay, Carlos it, has that voice. He too. has to watch it because uh -huh. you know he's got one of them voices, and there's <laughs> plenty of people out there. We're like, mm, and I'm like, no. Okay. So that's my voice. Okay. Right? That's mine. Back up. 
<laughs> Tell him to call so, Carlos. He got that voice. Right. <laughs> Carlos single. So they think automatically like he can sing. And mm -hmm. his whole thing um, with that is like, no, I don't sing. I move equipment. Okay, he moves equipment. He okay. moves equipment because, and I can remember one time he preached it so well about mm -hmm. uh, Joseph, the father, uh -huh. uh, Mary's husband, mm -hmm. how 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 yes. uh, the father of Jesus or the earthly father of Jesus uh -huh. had to carry and take care of a seed that wasn't his. Right. And so there is there is husbands out there who can support their wives yes. in ministry yes. and be able to help carry that anointing, carry that I gift and it. take care of it, yes. nurture it and everything else. Yes. Because you rest assured that as you do, she's ready That's to... Right go the extra mile with you she's <laughs> ready so yes, you yes. know and and when it was time for us to start ministry mm -hmm. i'm right there with them i'm right there with them we pastor together together i love that we pastor together it. we yes. do this thing together and yes. it is a blessing it comes with challenges because we're only uh five years you know so we're still we're still building but our our whole um uh, saying is we're 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 a church that bridges the gaps between the old and the new. <laughs> I love it. I love uh, it. I he's love very it. old school, and yeah. if he sees this, hi, honey. <laughs> he's very old school, uh -huh. and I'm very young and vibrant, and just you know. So we bridge that gap. We yes. all, not only do we bridge that gap, we bridge it. the gap of. Um, you know, old school church yes. versus new school church. Yes. We bridge Bring that gap as well. You know, yes. so don't mess with us because we'll cut a step and, and we'll cut a rug, but we know how to um, get into worship and, and yes. get on our faith as well. You, you, you see what I'm saying? So we, we collectively, we come together and we bridge that gap. That's awesome. So That's are awesome. you, is your church uh, part of Bishop? Were y'all separate? No, he um, ordained and released. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, he ordained it. And we see him every year because he said, make sure you see me every year. So we make sure we go to like the leadership conferences. Right, and, right. You know, the yes, conferences you may have. have and sometimes, you know, I've been known to go up and minister and, and sing at the conferences. That's but, awesome. Are you non-denomination? Non-denomination, yeah. yes. Okay, good. All right. Yes. This is so good. I love yes, it. Because it it's like you're telling my story. Oh, amen. I love that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. 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 So that's that good. Counts. So y'all been in the ministry five years. I mean, pastoring, 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 pastoring five yeah, years. Okay, yeah. we've been we've, doing it almost what eleven and a half. So yeah. it's still new to us too. Oh yeah, still new. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me ask you this. Um, <laughs> Are you a co-pastor? Yes. Okay, you're a co-pastor. Yes. Okay. Now, being a co-pastor, uh, how do you feel about that? I know you go through a lot of trials and tribulations. How do you handle that? How do you handle being a co-pastor? Well, you know, you have to be strong. You have to know who you are. <laughs> okay. You have to be strong. You have to know who you are. And you have to depend on God. Yes. You know, um, because dealing with people, Right. In any way, shape, or form. And we are a small <laughs> church, but dealing mm -hmm. with people, you know, their their poses challenges. Yes. And <laughs> issues. Yes. So, you know, you have to be uh, the wisdom of God is mm. is, is, is is vitally important. Yes. To it have is. the wisdom of God. Um and to not lose sight of who you are, to oh, not I lose love that. To not lose sight of who we are. Yes. You know. Yes. You know, I tell my husband, I was like, when we, when I feel like, you know, there's something that we need to do because there's a shift happening and we're just trucking along. And I'm like, oh no, we need to come together and I we need to it. just do something like take yeah. a private jet. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yes. Go to the private jet. Yes. You know, so yes. you need that time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And another thing yes. that we do as mm -hmm. pastors is mm -hmm. we go and get fed. Okay. See, yes. a lot of pastors don't do that. That's right. right. They're studying, right. giving out, giving yes. out, giving out, giving but out. You but need we that. go yes. and we yes. get I fed. agree. We go to our bishops' conferences. Mm -hmm. We go to other events and conferences yes. that you know, um, you know, we awesome. feed. We get we get, we feed. Okay. We eat out. I don't blame you. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna ask you this question. Yes. Now, 
Have you had women that have tried to disrespect you as a co pastor? <laughs> how how flirty with your husband and you. Uh, how did you handle that? You know we on camera, right? I know. That's the reason why <laughs> you I'm see asking. You see That's the reason why I'm asking because I, you see she we are like co-pastors together. So. Yeah. Elma, she was getting ready to take off her earring. You got earring. Yeah. She was getting ready yeah, to take off I, her I, I want to know you, this you because I want to see if I'm the only one going through this. Look, you gave her a Been flashback. through this, well. Been yeah. through it. Go well. Come on, talk yes, to me. I have had, even before we were pastoring, mm -hmm. I have had women attempting to be very disrespectful. <laughs> You know, a lot of times, you know, people just think they could be a better, yes, better wife, yes, or a better yes, pastor, yes, or better yes. whatever than you. Say it. Yes, um, they, they do. feel that, and mm -hmm. um, they you know, do. I have had to set people straight. Okay, have they just in love pass you like you're not? The pastor's wife, or give me an example. You are, they, you are, oh, I, she, I, I need she you to change you. Yes, yes. yes. She, she because we are co-pastors, and when people don't understand what That's we go to through as co-pastors, <laughs> so give me an example. She trying not to say nothing. Well, I'm being <laughs> right. respected. Um, I've had. Um, <laughs> let me just say this before I say anything. I have a husband okay. who believes in telling your wife. I love it. Telling Tell your wife. Come on. If anybody approaches him, come on. If anybody says anything off to him, uh -huh. looks at him funny, he will come and tell me. <laughs> that sounds like my husband. He will come Go and ahead. tell me. That's yeah. what I'm Immediately talking about. because he he doesn't want anything to come between this. Thank you. And yes. he doesn't want to give any uh credence to whoever whoever it is. Oh, right. yes. That's I whoever like that. that is. Um, you know, I've had um you know, my husband come and tell me mm -hmm. um, that, you know, someone would say, you know, Ooh, I'm getting in trouble, but it's OK. Um, you want a piece of gum and then they'll give him the gum and then they'll linger in his hand. Oh, don't you hate that? Oh, oh, that's so and touchy. I and hate that. You know, oh. I've had people who will look him in his face with me sitting right next Ooh. to him and jump and shout uh -huh. and, and look at me, him in his face. And but and with someone, come on, <laughs> and with someone, and 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 you know, and will yes. disrespect me, mm -hmm. you know, and won't allow me to sit next to their significant other. They'll put her. She she literally switched spots. Mm -hmm. She got next to me, mm -hmm. but I don't even want him because. Thank you, know, you thank you. I, yeah. I don't even want him, but she was insecure that way. Uh -huh. But consistently trying to get him and get his attention and things of that nature. And, you know, I cannot say that I have not lost it a couple of times. You go, girl. You <laughs> but, go, girl. You know, I love it. Um, but mm -hmm. I still have to walk in that love. That's right. Uh, that love. But, but there was one particular sister go that ahead. I uh -huh. had to tell her, you got one more time. And Did I you looked say her, one more time? I looked her in her one face. One more time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said, you got one more time. Girl. And she immediately put her head down and took off towards the door. But you Did know. she stay at the church or did she leave? Well, church? this was before oh, we before. had our own okay. church. Okay. But, uh, you know, yeah, I didn't see her anymore after that either. <laughs> well, I wouldn't either if you said one, one more time. One more time. Yeah, she had one more time. So, <laughs> but now you have grown to the point where it doesn't really, does it bother you now? Because I know you It doesn't bother me at okay. all when, when people approach him. That's okay. a good looking man. You know, well, you know it, don't it's, you? Yes, I do. And you know they're going to look. And they're going to look. They're going to look. And you want them me. to look, but not touch. No, listen, <laughs> don't disrespect Spend me. That, give me five. That's it. That's the thing. That's, That's what... Don't disrespect don't, me. Don't don't disrespect me. Right. I know you're going to look. I right. know you're. He's a good looking man. That's right. I'm not That's intimidated right. by you right. looking. I'm right. not intimidated by your lips, hips, and all of that. I'm not intimidated right. That's at good. all. That's good. I, I don't have a jealous bone in my body mm -hmm. because I know they're going to look and he's going to tell. That's right. <laughs> and, but they don't saying? know he's going to tell. See, they that's the sure thing. Don't. They don't know. They don't know. They they're, don't know. they're, they're, doing they're doing expecting something. him not to tell so they can continue on. Yes. And, and whatever that and is. And play those but, little but games. That's good. Yeah, yes. That's good. Play and the reason why I'm, games. I'm asking this because we have other co-pastors out there that need to hear. And I'm inviting some on the show to be able to actually be honest with what goes on with us. Mm -hmm. That's going to be good. Pastors. You see what I'm saying? That's going to be because good. Because we need to, because we have a lot of uh, 
divorces with pastors yes. and all of yes. that. Yes. And a, a lot, lot of it gets to the root of it is yes. because of infidelity and adultery and all of that. Because sometimes know. it's not infidelity. Uh -huh. It's just somebody being real insecure. And I'm going to put that out there. Okay, too. good. That's you good. know, somebody don't know who they are. And That's because good. they don't know who right. they are, everything is a problem. Right. And, you know, and, and, right. and, and sometimes like it ain't that. no problem here. It's just what she wants. Right. But it's no problem there. Um, you know, but yeah, sometimes it's and that you know too. what? People One, project stuff on y'all. Right. Absolutely. And then sometimes it's not that they really want him, it's to get at you. Yeah. You know, they'll, yeah. they'll say, well, you think that he won't mess around. I'm going to show you he can mess around mm -hmm. with you. My husband has told me things that women have done. And uh -huh. I have literally smiled at In them their face. Yeah. and ministered to right. them. Because it's brokenness. Yes. It is. It's it brokenness. Is. And brokenness it leads is. to brokenness. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. And But you can't break this. That's right. But oh, I'm still I love gonna it. Love That's you. right. I'm still going right. to minister to you and witness to you and just be that light. And that's good. And but that's I'm watching. Good. I'm but watching all the time. That's I got all, I powerful. got what? Two, four, six eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I am watching. But that's this powerful. is so good. You just I mean, this is just this is awesome. That's gonna be a good panel though. That is. We're gonna with, we're gonna get that panel together talking. and uh and bring the co pastors in and, and sometimes and the talk. wives feel the um I don't know if is neglect a good word. Yeah, neglected is a good misunderstood word. Misunderstood kinda yeah. Pushed push aside, aside. Right. as though they have no value, not realizing that they bring uh, the bread of life, if you will, to their husband. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. They and have the strength. Everything. And mm -hmm. we're there to help and we motivate think that's them. Not even, and minister to them and take care of them. Yes. And, 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 and be their cheerleader. Yes. And just, yes. you know, I'm, I'm in your corner. You know, it's, it's yeah, let's do this. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it does. And the world needs to see. Uh, a pastor and his co-pastor together as a team mm -hmm. and that helps marriages in the church because you'll see them together yeah. and see my husband is real quiet too he's real quiet he just sit back and look you know and, and that that draws attention yeah. and they be like oh look at him he's sitting over there I'm looking I'm looking too yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. I was looking to my my member said y'all need to go get a room, you know. And we've been married thirty nine years, awesome. and we still date. We yes. still. And I, I tell him all the time, I changed my wig, so he has about fifty some women. Come on, now. all in one girl. <laughs> He'd be like, "Come on, ladies, like, come on, ladies, ladies. Let's come let's on." You know? I introduced That's him cool. one time. We went to California to his brother church, and I introduced him, and I said, "I want y'all to see this man that got all these women. He got about thirty some women. You should have seen the church like." And you still with him? Mm. <laughs> and then when I told him, I said, that's because I wear 39 wigs. <laughs> you know, but yes. that is so good that yes. you, you're you uh, talking about this. And I know I just went in there and jabbed yeah. in it. But it's good to hear the realness. Because people think that we don't go through a lot of stuff. But it makes us stronger. Yes, it, it has made me stronger in it. And this up, but we're gonna to to get back together. We're gonna to have to have a talk show again with yes. this beautiful lady, Jay, because we don't want you to feel like just because you are married to a minister or a pastor that you have to lose your identity. No. Yeah, you don't have to lose your identity. No. You are still who you are, and I tell them all the time, "This is me. I love God, but you're not gonna disrespect me." Yeah, you know. But my husband, like you, he'll sit there. He said, baby, you don't have to fight no woman over me because mm -mm. I will set them straight. Exactly. And that, that took my little thing out because I'm going in a rhythm. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but God loves you, uh, Lady J. And I'm so glad that you was able to talk about this and mm -hmm. share your story because a lot of women that's out there do not know how to handle being they in there. They, some of them like that spotlight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm married to a minister. I'm married to a pastor and all of this. But it's it's not a good... It entails a lot. It entails, it entails a, whole, a lot. A lot. Because be a lot of time people will look at you to see how you're reacting when your husband is preaching mm -hmm. and they'll watch you. Because I used to do that myself. I'd be looking at that past wife, looking at her and say, well, uh -huh. is he telling the truth how she reacted? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm in the same role. They looking at me right. and stuff. So, but uh, I feel good because I know my husband is walking the way God wants him to Come on now. Walk. It's easy to support. Yes, when, when you, you know, know that they are doing what God wants them to do. He is living what he preaches. Yes. And that's so. how our slogan here, live what you preach and preach what you live. Yes, I love and it. And that is so good. So y'all would oh, definitely yes. have to talk to the women who are, he's on his way, but he's not quite there yet. Mm -hmm. So y'all have to speak to the woman who's married to a minister. Right. He's he's in the process of becoming, becoming, 
Mm-hmm. But he ain't became yet. Mm-hmm. Right. There you go. So y'all got to speak to those wives. And that's why well. I'm working Do on Do they that. walk away? Do they walk away and wait till he become and come back? Mm-hmm. Well, see, that that's because they get that excited. Oh, I'm marrying a minister. But they don't realize it's a lot that goes with that. So well, I'm saying, well, even the women that are married. already married and he's still struggling with his own um, right. issues. Mm-hmm. And she may want to strangle him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we, we could talk about that because even before my husband and I went into ministry, we sat down and we discussed boundaries. We discussed, That's good. Um, you know, what what ministry is going to look like as far as ministering to people. Right. Um, we discussed that. That's um, good. And there were um, checkpoints put in place. Mm-hmm. Um, That's you good. Know, so I that, like that. Good. The boundaries won't be crossed. It, it, you can't even um, say um, something was done because of the checkpoints that were put in place. Um, so to keep us protected. That's right. Our you marriage protected, each other protected That's and right. covered. So, you know, That's um, good. That's you good. know, if you don't have checks and balances, um, then the lines can get blurry and, oh, yeah. and things can appear or be, you know, it, the way it doesn't need to be. That's good. So, yeah. That's good. So what advice can you give to uh, the wife? being married to either a minister or a pastor, what kind of advice could you give to them uh, on how to build their marriage and stay in their marriage if they're having problems? Communication is the key. Oh, I love that. Communication. Communication is the yes. key. You have to you have to be open and mm-hmm. honest and communicate. Um, talk about everything. Yes. You know, talk about everything. And then put those checks and balances in mm-hmm. place and, and be able to... Uh, develop a safe place where when you're feeling some type of way it's easy for you to go and say hey listen we need to talk about this you know we need to straighten this out and don't let anything linger don't let it it, let anything fester you want to get it in and get it done immediately that's good i like that thank you lady j for sharing uh your life and uh we're going to have her information at the bottom of the screen or throughout the the program about her wanna, cd i'm sorry go i ahead. do want to share something before we go what you want to share um, lady j <laughs> yes go ahead lady j she done warmed up yeah, i want to know what she, she want to share go um, ahead and share first of all i want to share that uh my pastor my, my pastor he is my pastor my mm-hmm. husband and i we have a um saturday morning prayer call live mm-hmm. on facebook okay um, we are uh, up Saturday mornings and at 7 a.m. every Saturday morning, uh-huh. we are praying. Okay. Um, so um, I am inviting you to come and um, connect with us on Overcomers World Ministries okay. um, and join that prayer call. We've had miracles Good. and testimonies Good. because of that prayer call. Okay. It is anointed and we get in and we reach the throne room of God. So I want to invite okay. you all and your listeners to come on in. Is and it a really, Zoom call or is it's it? just live on Facebook? Oh, it's live, live on, on Facebook. Facebook. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, that's okay. Saturday morning. Oh, you okay. see how Facebook do me? I know they just they, stop you right there. Yeah, like they do that. me wrong. They do me <laughs> okay. wrong. But yes. Um, so join us on that. I also want to mention that October of next year, twenty uh-huh. second and twenty third. We're going to be having a major event in the city of Arlington. Um, it is going to be called Revival in the Park, Arlington for Jesus. Okay. Aww. And uh, it's a two day event mm-hmm. where um, we're having speakers coming in. I cannot say names now, but we okay. have a few big names. Okay. Um, I cannot say names now because we have to finalize things, but right. we have um, some people coming in to, um, uh, be a part of this event where we're going to bring revival to the city of That's Arlington. Good. That's good. Um, we want to revive the individual. We want to spark revival in churches and we want to win souls for the lost. Yes. Yes. Um, and uh, the second day is going to be full of um, prayer, praise, miracles, signs and wonders and good. a baptism. So it's a Saturday and a Sunday is going to be in a park. That's um, awesome. You know, and we did it purposely in October because we didn't want people to fry up out there. I know, right? <laughs> so we did it in October, doing it in October, but um, I'm excited about it. That's awesome. And um, 
I want you all to save the date. Yes. October and October is my birthday October. month, so I love that. Amen. So, yeah, we October. love how you come back on the show and even remind us then. Yes. And have you and Pastor Frank come on that and talk. Be wonderful. That would be great. That would be, be good. Wonderful. And both of y'all come and both on. Y'all. Maybe I can get my husband coming. We'll that would be great. Oh, yes. Yeah. That would <laughs> be A foursome powerful. with the word of God. Get your mind out that gutter. Okay? We're going to be preaching about the word of God on the show. Oh, okay. yeah. That would be All good. right. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. And I'm going to invite you. You live in Arlington? Or okay, good. So you're not that far because we're going to come back and we're going to have us a good co-pastor talk. Yes. Yeah, we're going to talk gonna like we good. did tonight. I just got a little bit in our business tonight. <laughs> but when they had this show going to be really deep down there. Yeah. Take it off the We're going to take out the earring, <laughs> put on the boxing glove, um, Kim. And everything. Wish it, wish it, wish yeah, it. people need to <laughs> hear what again. goes on in ministry before you go jumping in there, okay? All right, well, we're getting ready to close out, and we're going to have information on how to contact Lady J and her uh, album that she has, her CD, which is awesome. You can get that wherever music is sold. Spotify, okay. you can get it. You can get it at cdbaby.com. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to wow. have all that information. Okay, so are you going to fashion right quick, Kimberly, or what? Sure, why not? Why not? Come on, Kimberly. Uh, do your thing, my girl. My foot is no. Oh, Lord, she done got AARP. <laughs> I like that shirt, Kim. You're going to have to show me that. that the is one with cool. the eyes on it. Do y'all remember, uh, what's that lady name? What? What's the lady name when we used to grow up and she always had the head on with the price tag on it? I don't know, Kim. I'm Minnie young. Pearl, what was her name? <laughs> I was like, I ain't taking off my price tag today. Eat my new pants, y'all. She taking those pants These back, y'all. Thanks, y'all. That's what she do. I'm going to tell the truth, Kimberly. I ain't, I ain't taking off. I ain't taking off. I'm proud of these pants. I've been waiting for these pants for a year now. <laughs> I like those pants. And they on pants. the right side and everything. <laughs> and they match her boots. Look at it. I they thought she had a motorcycle boots. out there. <laughs> oh, girl, that is so pretty. And my BFF gave me this jacket. For her jacket. Isn't that cute? That is. I like this shirt. Open up and see the shirt. I like, oh, like the yes. That is cute. Do I need to call us? Who is that Campbell on that shirt? Oh, just somebody from the Chinese store. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Kimberly, I tell Chinese you. Store, Leave it to Kimberly, some Chinese store. <laughs> then I got my Anya High Mark bag. I'm just trying to be wet. Y'all, these pants are hot. Don't play. I'd be glad we get off the set. I asked Lady J, I said, do you preach? She said, I preached yesterday. I said, I did too. Oh my gosh, y'all bro preached yesterday. Yes, we're going to have to do a tag awesome. team. Oh, you had to come to me. God is so a good. A sermon that like uh, Pastor Vanessa did. Yes, okay. yes. Yes. Okay. This is awesome. So you, oh, yes. we want to also welcome you to the Overcomers World Ministry. It's in yes. Arlington. This yes. address? Yes. And the address is 619 West Main Street, Arlington, Texas. So you all go out and visit Overcomers World Ministry, Pastor Frank and Lady J. Abel's here. All right, all right, all right. Thank counseling. you, Lady J, for stopping by and being a part of the Talk of Life talk Thank show with Elma. And we're going to have you to come back on the show because we're going to put together this panel on co pastors. Y'all have, and, they have uh, facilitation of funeral services, wedding they do ceremonies, what? Court, courtroom support. Mm hmm. Life skills training. Oh, she has a lot on here, boy. You are busy. And <laughs> still look good. Yeah. So y'all come good. out and go visit her in Arlington at the Overcomers World Ministry. Okay. Thank you, Lady J. I we know. enjoyed Thank you. you for I tell coming. you. Oh and my God. may God bless you. Yes. Remember, every Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Facebook and YouTube. We are there waiting on you to tune in and subscribe to this. And if you want to be on the Talk of Life talk show yes. with Elma, Kimberly, Linda, and Tan, please contact me at www.elmatalkshow.com. Don't wait till we get on the big screen because we almost there. Okay? <laughs> All right. Thank you. A shout out to the producer back there in the back. Emmanuel and Carlos, may God bless you and keep you. Linda, we miss you. We yes, understand. Linda. But anyway, hey, Tan, we love hey, you Tan. too, Tan. Hey, All right, thank welcome. you until we see you what? Face, face to face. face.